Is it possible to face a new stricter lockdown? Maybe. But first, let's take a closer look at what's happening in China. Hello everyone and welcome to Nova Rice, your channel for financial education. Nova Rice. Over the past few weeks, China has seen a severe boost in the number of COVID-19 cases and deaths. This has not only raised alarms about a possible new wave of infections in Asia, but also in the rest of the world. Unlike the most recent outbreaks, this one was marked by super strict measures that have drawn the attention of governments and citizens around the world. You might wonder what's happening and why are the Chinese authorities being more radical now than at the beginning of the pandemic? This super strict lockdown in China is already creating chaos in different parts of the world. And in the case of the US, this could mean another leading factor for the economy to worsen and inflation to increase. We're going to explain how this situation affects the global economy and what we can expect from the coming months. But before we do that, don't forget to subscribe and to like this video. What's happening in China? Something very important to take into account is the fact that everything began in China, in the city of Wuhan. By December 2019, the news of a virus in China was spreading around the world. And just three months later, the World Health Organization declared the pandemic in which we still live today. For that reason, many are alarmed and very aware of what's happening. In this case, the area affected by the outbreak and the strong lockdown is the city of Shanghai, with more than 25 million people. But this time, there's no new variant. It's the same Omicron spreading among the people of the city, registering record figures since the beginning of the lockdown. All this created an alarming chaos due to separation of parents and children, elderly isolation, confinement of all the people of the city in their houses, building spans because of the detected cases, and many other measures that seem to be exaggerated for the rest of the world, especially at this point in the pandemic. Given this situation, the world economy is showing signs of China's impact and the crisis could worsen if other countries begin to register outbreaks of contagion as it's been happening in Europe and the US. Now let's take a look at what's happening in global markets and how the situation in Shanghai affects us all. Stock market crash Stock markets around the world are at risk partly because of the health situation in China. This new lockdown could create huge logistical problems for many companies that are already facing difficult situations due to the war and the very high inflation in the US. As mentioned in other episodes, the stability of the stock market is based on trust. And the new lockdown in China has led many people to believe that we are close to a new outbreak in the Western countries, which could be particularly dangerous given that almost all anti-COVID measures have been lifted and many citizens chose not to continue with their vaccination schedule. In recent days, the stock market had very poor performances, closing with downward trends. The Nasdaq index was hit by the hardest, showing falls up to 4%. Another loss was reported by the S&P 500 index, which reported a drop of 2.75%, as well as the Dow Jones, which reported losses of almost 2%. On the other hand, there are the Shanghai and Shenzhen stock markets that fell by almost 7%. These were directly affected by the outbreak of COVID-19. Europe was also affected by the Chinese lockdown, the war, and U.S. economic policies. The Paris stock market showed falls of up to 2%, and the Milan, London, and Madrid stock markets reported red numbers on several days. Without a doubt, the impact of China worries many investors like us, and if companies begin to experience logistical problems, the situation could get worse. This leads us directly to the next point. Supply chain problems China's strict rules to curb the comeback of COVID-19 may trigger another wave of supply chain chaos around the world. The Chinese government is implementing a zero-tolerance policy against COVID-19, which involves the suspension of commercial activities, including seaports and other essential tasks to complete the supply chain of various international companies. The combination of ocean transport congestion in Chinese ports and the war is risking the immediate economic recovery. 
the situation could lead to additional delays in supply chains, which ultimately reduces the supply of products. This will only mean more shortages and inflation. And the worst thing about all of this is that this problem could extend until the end of this year. Currently, there are ships stuck in Chinese shores, and these need to move first before everything returns to normal. The CEO of Belgium's port of Antwerp, Jacques van der Meijden, said that they expect to see a bigger disaster than last year due to the situation in China. Since the pandemic began, the supply chains were severely affected in consequence of more than two years of ongoing problems. Research by Bloomberg showed that more than three quarters of the ports around the world experience unusually long wait times. Global trade expert Vincent Stemmer predicts that supply chains will no longer return to normal this year. He said that the recovery of the ports could take at least 12 more months, only if no more strict lockdowns take place. Exports This is the most impacted area of all. Marine traffic performs a satellite monitoring of the waters between the coast of China and Japan, and the situation for trade was worrisome. According to the analysis, there are almost 500 ships stuck because of the port's lack of operation. The Global Trade Report also points out that there are about a thousand ships detained in different Chinese ports, impacting freight costs, not only in that area but also worldwide. All this because such a large number of detained units means less movements of vessels in and out of Chinese waters. The items that are experiencing the greatest delays in their distribution are washing machines, vacuum cleaners, solar panels, electronic components, and textiles. The asset management company Janus Henderson commented that the export of these products through the port of Shanghai represents 50% of the total world distribution, so the stop of the operation will be hitting different markets very hard very soon. An economics and finance professor at New York University in Shanghai explained that it'll take a long time to resolve the backlog at the port even if the restrictions are lifted tomorrow. In a report published by Bank of America, various experts explained that although the authorities started to take measures in recent days, these interruptions are likely to spread throughout the world within three to six weeks and last at least until the end of the second trimester. Oil prices Oil has also experienced a lot of movement in recent weeks. Shanghai policies, in addition to the crisis in the US, may further harm global growth and oil demand, which is why the price of crude oil has fallen. Brent oil recently fell by 4.06%, while West Texas presented recent falls by 3.5%, pushing the price of a barrel to $98. In total, the price of oil has fallen by 25% within a couple of months after reaching its highest peak since 2008. The price of crude oil also weakened on the prospect of rising interest rates in the US, which is boosting the dollar. As the US currency becomes stronger, investors are less afraid of taking risks and other currencies begin to suffer, like oil. Now, what can you do in this situation? The first option would be to set aside some money. Putting your money in savings accounts that earn interest could help you with the stability of your long-term finances. If you already have a savings cushion that will cover your expenses for at least three months in the event of an economic downturn, then it may be time to invest or diversify your portfolio. Buying stocks when the market is reporting declines could potentially offer you profitable returns if the market corrects itself. Remember, buy low and sell high. Long-term bonds could also be another investment option for you since they tend to offer high returns in exchange for a longer holding period. Another excellent investment option is real estate. The real estate market has consistently performed over the years, and when these types of problems occur in the supply and export chains, housing prices don't fall. On the contrary, real estate prices go up in value during supply chain issue events because the distribution of construction materials are negatively impacted, making real estate more scarce. As a result, housing prices go up, like it's happening right now. As bad as everything may sound, we have to face the facts. We are currently facing serious financial problems plus multiple global issues risking the stability of the global economy. 
We don't know for sure what might happen with China, but all we can do is prepare for whatever is about to come. Now tell us, what's your plan to protect your finances? Leave a comment and let us know what you think of this whole situation. And don't forget to check out this next episode. Bye!